Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about this Summer Heat promo as it is very quickly becoming the best promo of FIFA 20. And I'm not even lying, I think this is the best promo of FIFA 20 that we have had so far this year. And it is coming close to like one of the best FIFA promos in the past in the, in the the near past, like the, the last three or four FIFAs, honestly, maybe the best FIFA 20 promo ever because promos before this were a lot different. A lot of people are comparing this Summer Heat promo and the FIFA 18 Festival of Foot as like the best two promos that FIFA Ultimate Team has ever seen. I think I have to agree. The cards that we have gotten, the prices of the SBCs, the grindability, the upgrade packs, everything about this promo has been just about spot on. It's been such a big dub for EA Sports, and today was nothing short of that. Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Kubo both got objective cards today. I was shocked when I saw how easy this Zlatan card was. I was thinking that it might be some sort of like a half grind, kind of like Bruno, but no. What they did today was they released two more, uh, one fan favorite and one just summer heat player himself, Zlatan, with a big time juiced up card and I want to show you guys this card in the individual stats because people are complaining about the 47 balance on Zlatan Ibrahimovic man this is not a card that you do to play with the meta in FIFA 20 is this card going to be good absolutely 99 strength 99 aggression you know 94 finishing 99 uh, shot power 97 long shots this is just zlatan like this is just zlatan we get a beast up juiced up zlatan every year this is your zlatan this year man all right this is your zlatan this year and it's the best version of zlatan that i think we have ever had maybe bar this 96 uh this footies zlatan no way man this one's way better this one's actually better because this zlatan is better than the fifa 19 team of the season 84 pace, 96 shot. We've got 94 pace on this one. No shot, man. This is the best version of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. I digress. There are some 98 Zlatans in here. Okay, 98 Zlatan. Still 84 pace, though. Still. All right. In terms of pace, this might be the fastest version of Zlatan that we've ever had. I looked through some of these before, and I knew, yeah, this is the fastest Zlatan we've ever had, man. 94 pace on a Zlatan Ibrahimovic card. What about FIFA 15? 84 still man what about fifa 14 82 man they've gypped zlatan's pace for all these years 83 pace wow this literally is the fastest zlatan ibrahimovic card i think we've ever had a fifa ultimate team that's a dub that's a dub the juice in this card is fantastic it's very easy to do big time w this isn't a card that you're going to use to just play the meta with right that's a card you're going to use to have fun as a zlatan like a fan of Zlatan and the player, right? The first three years of Ultimate Team, when I started in FIFA 15 to FIFA 18, my club name in FIFA Ultimate Team was the Isle of Ibra because every year my goal was to go get Zlatan Ibrahimovic for my team, for my club. That was my goal from FIFA 15 to FIFA 18, right? That was my entire goal. And it happened all three of those years, which was huge. But that's why Ibra means a lot to me. I'm going to be doing that SBC. He's going to be in my weekly team. For a while that is true truth right kubo the other one today now this is a meta card a fifa summer heat fan favorite and this is a fan favorite objective because of the popularity surrounding his 88 future stars card which was very good and this card's even better juiced out maxed agility balance maxed out acceleration maxed out stamina again another card that ea puts as 99 pace that if you look at the end games only has 92 sprint speed. EA Sports, if you could do averaging and do math, this would be a 95 or 96 pace player, depending on which way you want it around, right? And you give him 99, all right? Make the stats behind the face stats match up, all right? Do the correct averages for whatever your calculation is, for however you calculate this pace, all right? Give us that formula then so we know what goes on there because there's a lot of... A lot of stats this year have been kind of messed up and, and there's been a lot of question marks around those statistics. But regardless, Kubo and Zlatan are very, very easy to complete. Big time W again, cementing another reason why this promo might be the best in FIFA history and it, for sure the best this year. We also got two big time SBCs today. The Malang Sar center back summer heat SBC, just a summer heat card. This is a beast, right? 
83 rated and an 84 rated squad for this card is ridiculous. This is one of the best center backs, uh, French center backs in the game. If you give an anchor on him, he's going to have almost maxed out uh, all defending stats. Very, very, very good card. This guy caused some market movements today. If there were any cards that, car that caused some market movements, Ibra caused a few, but this Sar is a card that people will just instantly put in their teams with all the French links that are just very easy to be had, especially in this FIFA, and especially with all the Summer Heat French cards we've already had in foot. So this is a big-time dub. I've crafted half the SBC. Haven't finished it yet. The other SBC we got today was the best of release one party bag number two. Second party bag for this best of release one. And we'll talk about these cards and they're going out of packs. And also we'll talk about batch two uh, in this video as well. Because you might want to start selling some of those cards that could get into batch two. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But this SBC again was the exact same copy paste that was out earlier this week. 83 rating, 80 chemistry. The high chemistry is a pain, man. They keep releasing all these SBCs with high chemistry just to kind of, I think, keep a little bit of the, keep these SBCs a little bit more expensive. They make you think, wow, 83 rated squad, 84 rated squad, that's just so cheap. But with all the chemistry requirements, it does actually cost you a little bit more because of just the chemistry links that you do have to have. So big, big time W today uh, on Friday for FIFA Ultimate Team content. EA doesn't really drop the ball on Fridays that often, right? And especially with this promo, you just had the feeling that EA was going to do something special and they did. They absolutely did something special today with that. Um, and then Saturday, actually today when you're watching this video, we're going to be getting an SBC, another Summer Heat Player SBC fan vote. I think it's going to be Ericsson. It's either going to be Ericsson, Zielinski, or um, Mkhitaryan right mid. I think that either Mkhitaryan or Ericsson is going to win. I really hope Ericsson wins. I voted for Ericsson. He's my twin. You guys know I'm going to be doing this SBC pronto and trying to fit him into some sort of team because I love this guy to begin with, right? Former Spurs player. Love the man. Absolute legend. Absolute beast. So hopefully Ericsson does win uh, that SBC vote from today. Uh, I would expect if it's if it is Ericsson or Mkhitaryan or honestly Zielinski, nothing too much more expensive than like 300,000 coins because if they value Firmino right around 400k, not none of these cards are going to have as much hype as this one would, in my opinion, uh, or be honestly maybe as good statistically. Ericsson would be the only one that would top this card in some areas of stats um, as a center attack and mid card. Erickson would have probably higher shooting and higher passing, maybe. I don't know about pace, though. Probably not pace, but probably higher shooting and passing than what this Firmino card has. So just watch out for that SBC today. Maybe a little bit of uh, market movements on fodder. Probably not a ton, though, unless they release another type of SBC. Just because an Erickson card like that is not going to make SBC fodder go up himself a ton more. Maybe a little bit, but not a ton. Just depends on the price. Uh, whether it is Ericsson, Mkhitaryan, or uh, Zielinski winning that SBC. Uh, but seriously, uh, we got to start talking about some things on the market because stuff is high. Card prices are inflated. It is the weekend. This is your last chance. If you have a foot birthday card, if you have a um, team of the, what is it? Uh, Road to the final. If you got a Road to the final card, like somebody told me today that Road to the final Militao is how like somebody said he was 200k is that for real now this might be inflated a little bit because of the the mendy sbc but this is ridiculous if this guy's yeah he's 200 000 coins get if you've got this guy tradable in your club get him out because this card and these road to the finals are very rare but they're going to be coming back in packs in my opinion batch two which will come out on friday i think either thursday or friday these players will come out. Right now it's Friday, five days, 13 hours. So I think actually Thursday, I think we will actually see Thursday uh, these best of re-release players. Uh, Thursday at 6 p.m. UK, I think, is what this is kind of leading up to. When batch one will be done, out of packs, batch two will be in packs. So what is batch two going to look like? Let's look back to last year, FIFA 19 footies, because this promo is basically footies rebranded. Let's talk about what was in packs last year. So last year for batch one, we had team of the weeks. We had scream, road to the final, ones to watch, foot birthday, and then team of the group stage, right? And then in batch two, we basically had all the other promo cards that were not released in batch one. Future stars, carnivals, headliners, team of the knockout stage, and 
some secondary league, lower league team of the season cards. Air Divisie, EFL, Latin America, Liga Nos, rest of the world, Saudi, Super League, and again, some man of the match and team of the week cards uh, were thrown in there as well. That is what I would expect for batch number two that will be coming out on Thursday. Fu uh, not future stars. Yes, future stars, foot birthdays, road to the finals, and I think that might be it for like the, the past promotions, right? We've already had uh, we've already had, we haven't had foot birthdays in packs yet. We've had shapeshifters. We've had a winter refresh. We haven't had future stars. We did have headliners. Team of the years will not be re-released. Don't worry about that. Unless EA drops a madness. Team of the group stages are in packs right now, but just not a lot of them. We haven't had road to the final yet. And we have had screams. So, and we've also had ones to watch. So road to the final, foot birthday, and future stars are the three promos that we have not had back in packs yet and then of course to kind of fill out the rest where the other promos did in batch one i think they're going to throw in the lower league team of the season so super league tots Liga nos your, your tele is going to come back into packs your gabrielle your pizzy your ziech your promes van de beek paulinho hulk renato augusto Jose martinez opara pozuelo tevez um you know probably rest of the world as well david cezina orsic so the the high rated Fodder, team of the season cards are going to get supplied, which is going to drop some of the high rated fodder at least right away. That's going to be something that we had to look for right away on Thursday when these cards come back into packs. And also, especially from like a guys you might have in your team perspective, you guys might have some of the secondary tots cards in your teams, but a lot of you guys are still rocking foot birthdays, whether that's a Pogba, a Bale, uh, a Van Dyke, or a Lacazette, or an Mbappe, a Griezmann. Sissoko, Rashford, uh, or Gucci headband, right? Get those guys out this weekend 1,000% for sure. You could risk it if you really wanted to and try to say they might rise a little bit Thursday after rewards, but I don't think you want to do that. I think you want to cash out on these guys this weekend because you've seen what has happened to these other cards that are in packs, right? If we look at some of these, the shapeshifters, right? You've seen the drops, drop-offs in price. Uh, like Ribery, a very hyped up, only like the best version of Ribery in the game. This dude was 851,000 coins before he got re-released back into packs. He's cut in half in price. Gucci headband, right? This is one that a lot of people are asking about. Do I want to sell this card? 1000% you do, because there are two things that are going to make this card go down a lot. Thing number one, him being re-released back into packs. I think that this card coming back into packs is going to push him down into maybe like the 800k range before it's all said and done. Thing two, and this could make him drop even more depending on the price of this player coming out, Usman Dembele. He has to get a fan favorite Summer Heat card at some point during this promo. If that card is a right wing, right? This card is going to suffer a lot because that Usman Dembele is going to make this card look silly in terms of statistics. I mean, 85 shot, 83 passing. I know this card is very OP in game. I get that. He will still be overpowered. But that Usman Dembele is a card, people would not bat an eye at Allen St. Maxman. Sell that card immediately and go do a brand new Usman and Dembele. So something to think about, just to be careful about. If you've got foot birthdays, road to the finals, or future stars, cash out today. Cash out today or a secondary league team of the season card. I would cash out on those cards today as well. Now, some cards that are main league team of the seasons, right? I talked about cards that the SAR... The SAR SBC today had some upwards movements on some of these cards. Kenny Lala is 450,000 coins at the moment on the PlayStation 4. This guy was like 360, 370, I think, before the SAR SBC came out today. I would honestly cash out on a lot of main league TOTS cards as well because, again, this market is right now just in a place where a lot of stuff is dropping unless it's super duper duper meta. And with rewards this week even... You saw some of the, the, the TOTS cards actually dip down in price a little bit. Just a few of them. They did dip down in price from the tradable supply in rewards. Because basically, if you got 90 plus rewards from Elite Packs, Top 100 Packs, everything from those was, was TOTS cards. Basically, everything was TOTS because a lot of the stuff that is 90 rated that you would be able to pack from rewards. Uh, 90 rated cards on this game. A lot of them are Team of the Seasons. So, honestly, I would cash out on just about everything tradable. This weekend, honestly, I really, I really would. Even a guy like a Chris Smalling Tots, who, you know, isn't that hyped up, but still a really good card. Quadrado, 
Uh, this dude right now is 190k. I mean, this guy was like 150 in packs. This guy was like 150 in packs. When he gets re-released back into packs, what's he gonna do? He's gonna drop a lot in price. This guy was 130 actually at a point. Now he's back up to 200,000 coins. This guy's probably gonna be somewhere around 100k when he gets re-released back into packs. I don't think the top five leagues are gonna be in batch two after doing some thinking. I thought they originally were gonna be, but I think they're actually gonna be in batch number three. So top five league tots, I don't think they're gonna come back into packs as early as I originally mentioned or maybe thought they were. Could EA put them in batch two? Yes, they could. I just don't think it's that likely that they do end up doing that. Um, but I guess it it is pop it is, it is possible, right? It is possible they could do that if they really want to do a madness. But somebody in my stream made a really good point tonight. EA wants to stretch this game out. EA definitely wants to stretch this game out until this promo for sure. Probably until August, I would think this promo is going to run till so or at least late uh, July. So I do think that EA is going to try to do three batches and not just two of them. So uh, we should probably see the top five main league tots not in packs just yet. But still, a lot of prices on the market are continuing to fall. People are stop playing, stopping to play this game because they're just running out of stuff in their clubs, right? These SBCs today and these objectives might have brought some people back. But a lot of people are just flat broke. A lot of people are flat broke right now from all the other Summer Heat content that we have had that has been top tier by EA Sports. Seriously, big time, big time thumbs up uh, with this promotion uh, this, seriously, uh, this week. This past, like what, week and three days now? It's been a crazy week and three days. Prime Icon upgrades, upgrade packs, which these go away in, in very, very soon amount of time. One day, these go away. So uh, get your upgrades in while you can to craft these SBCs. It's, it's very good value. To go out and do this pack like rinse your club go buy non rares and a couple bronzes if you have to i mean these packs are like probably what six six five six k to do maybe even less than that seriously very very cheap to do these upgrades i was getting uh boards in almost every single pack tonight i packed a bunch of like 86s 80s 88s even and a lot of 84s 85s so it is definitely worth it if you're trying to upgrade to do some of these upgrade packs because let's face it man if you're packing an 84 rated or above, which I would say that, you know, even with decent pack luck, you're at least going to get one of those cards one out of three times, maybe one every two. An 85 rated card right now on the market is 10K. And if this SPC costs you like 5,000 coins to do, you're doubling your money. 6,000 coins are what 84s cost. 83s cost three or 4K. So if you're getting boards out of these SBCs and they're treating your account well, I would still do them. Even these aren't that bad if you want the high, the high tier rating cut off, no cap, I guess, for 88 rated. Um, but, oh, last thing I did want to talk about, and probably by the time you're watching this video, it's, it's not going to do you any good because the SBCs are going to be expired. But I talked about it yesterday, so hopefully you were able to um, think about it then. But... Um, this probably isn't the best way to do it, but I'm going to get to those SPCs really quickly. The, uh, Boetius and, uh, what's his name? Diaby. Diaby and Boetius, their teams play this morning, today. As you're watching this video, they might even be playing right now. These two cards right here that have the opportunity to get themselves upgraded to a 95. I did both just for a, the Panini, right? The card to collect these players. Boetius could be a 95 if mines win. Diaby could be a 95 if Leverkusen win. They could both be 93 if they draw. First Summer Showdown SBC. The game is actually today. So will these cards get upgraded like this? I feel like it's going to take EA a little bit of time. Maybe a couple hours. Maybe until Sunday. They'll wait to upgrade these cards. But within the next day after the game ends, I would expect them to get upgraded to the White Flame version uh, for the Summer Heat cards. And then go to a 95 rated card uh, after today. So... Watch that game it has some FIFA implications, which is really freaking dope that we have that stuff going on. And again, for most of the stuff on the market, if you have Thursday flips, if you have cards that are inflated in price, take the money if you're still trading and doing some stuff like that. If you want to make some coins today on Saturday, there's still going to be demand. You can flip icons, uh, open bids. Again, I've been telling a lot of people this open bids right now are just fan freaking tastic because people are still doing icon SBCs, right? Pozuelo. Wow, these, these fodder cards have dropped a lot. Still, people are still doing high rated SBCs. They need these high rated cards for the, the icon SBCs and for other SBCs that EA is dropping. Uh, look at a cheeky bid like this, right? 69K on a Pozuelo, right? 
He's selling for 79K right now. People might not catch up on that. That's a cheeky start price, as I would call it. Uh, let me check Post Villa for open bids. Just check these high rated TOTS cards uh, for potential open bids. Okay, there's only one of them right now, but just go through a list. Look at the cheapest players by by rating on Footbin right here. Go down to like the 89 rated plus and just look at all of these cards on open bids because you will be able to catch some undercuts. You know, five, like 10,000 coins on one of these cards. If you win a Giovinco for 55K, sell it for 65K, you're, there's only 3,000 coins of tax. You're making 7,000 coins a card. You add a bunch of cards, you just keep bidding, looking at these cards, find undercuts. And you will be able to make some profit because there is still demand on some of these. And if you want to trade with like team of the season cards as well, people are still playing weekend league, right? You will see some fluctuations. If Ericsson does come out today, somebody like Lataro Martinez, if it's a very good value SPC, could go up. Maybe somebody like Gomez could go down a tiny bit. Um, maybe DeVry goes up a smidge, you know. Just kind of watch some of the stuff today with the SPC that could come out because it's going to be a Serie A player guaranteed. So just kind of watch some of those links maybe. Um, today as we do get the either Ericsson, Mkhitaryan, or Zielinski SBCs. But again, hopefully it's a fun Saturday. Hopefully you're grinding, right? There's a lot of emphasis right now on just grinding the game. Whether you're playing foot champs, whether you're grinding rivals, I'm probably going to save the rivals grind for the week. Just get my games in on the weekend for foot champs as I need to, uh, just because of the rewards. And foot champs is more on a compressed time frame as we have like 20 days left or whatever up here. 20 days? Yeah. 20 days until we have to finish uh, a lot of these objectives. Is Ibra on a timer? I didn't even look at this. So Ibra is not on a timer. Kubo is out for a week. And then the rest of these guys have no time limit until the season ends. So 20 days for Zlatan, Bruno, and Mendy. And then only uh, you have a week to do Kubo, which you could very easily do uh, through when you're doing Zlatan and when you're doing some of these other objectives. So still... Massive, massive W content from EA Sports. Seriously, I'm considering this is the best promo in FIFA 20. Possibly one of the best promos of all time. Drop your comments down below on what you think about this promo, how it ranks all time uh, in the past few FIFAs. Drop a like on this video too if you enjoyed it. And if you're liking the content from EA, drop a like as well, all right? Third party, drop that like. And then of course, smash a sub to the channel as, uh, as well if you're enjoying the videos. Happy Saturday, boys. Enjoy it. I will catch you guys in a video soon. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.